Finally, Boston Dynamic is stepping it up. For a while there, they had a robot, I think it was called Atlas. It just did not look practical. And I really thought they were behind the time. And Elon Musk decided to take over by creating a robot plus AI that would tell it what to do. So it was more practical. It had more home use than the one Boston Dynamic had. But with that robot there, okay, the future is looking way much better. Competition always pushes technology forward. Welcome to Verbal Online. My name is Noel, Battling MS. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the advancement we have in artificial intelligence and robotics and my thoughts on what's going on. If this is your first time on the channel, go ahead and click on that like and subscribe button. Help this channel grow so we can get this out to more and more people. All right, let's take a look. Verbal on life. All right. Now, when it comes to robotics, I thought that by now, the year 2024, we will have like flying cars and human robots that can think and talk and do everything for us. But no. Robots. Tesla, leveraging its proprietary AI technology known as X.AI, holds the potential to spearhead the entire robotics manufacturing industry. In today's episode, We'll explore three recently unveiled features of Optimus Bot and address the question, what distinguishes these features from those of Optimus's competitors, such as NVIDIA and Figure? How about its practical application? And which company will be the ultimate winner in the AI race? So the practical application, you notice that Elon Musk's robot has hands, right? The one that we saw at the beginning, it didn't really have hands yet, but they probably are working on them behind the scenes. Into all its vehicles, beginning with 3G connectivity and later upgrading to 4G LTE. However, recent developments indicate that the company is now focused on developing private 5G infrastructure to connect its electric vehicles and Optimus robot. Pat Ruelke, lead staff engineer, IT manufacturing solutions. Engineering at Tesla, disclosed this move in a job posting shared on LinkedIn. He stated, you got what it takes to bring vehicle and Optimus cellular connectivity to the next level. I am looking for an ACE engineer to build a seamless private 5G service in between Tesla products and our private 5G infrastructure. Pushing low latencies and data rates to the limit is guaranteed. And this all inspires competition, but you know what comes to mind also? If this is what they're showing us, I wonder what's happening behind the scenes. How far are they? What do you think they got working behind the scenes? Right? Because if they're showing these videos and impressing us, that means they probably got one at home already, trying it out. Because with AI and all the responses that you could generate. Scaled up to 10 times that of a vehicle. Elon Musk responded to Sam's query by noting that complexity per unit mass is much higher with humanoid robots, but still, I think it ends up costing less than half of a car. While Musk didn't specify the type of car, it's reasonable to assume he was referring to models like the Model 3 or Model Y, rather than the higher-end Model S, Model X or Cybertruck. For the sake of this analysis, let's consider a Model 3 long range. If we now, in terms of flying cars, Elon Musk already sort of shot that down. I know there's companies that already have flying cars, but in terms of mass marketing and getting it out there to the general public, I don't think it's working out. And Elon Musk says it's not going to work out because of all the complexities of having our flying cars and how it could hurt people. So it's not safe. Available with such a competitive price point. For instance, consider Digit developed by Agility Robotics and utilized in Amazon warehouses. They're about See, if that robot had hands. But, you know, over just a few years, they're worth it. As of 2022, Amazon employed about 36% of warehouse workers in the U.S., a workforce that often complains about the injury risk of working to get packages to customers in two days or less, according to OSHA. Back to the main topic. What is the special method that Tesla utilizes to ensure their robot army remains low price? The key lies in Tesla's approach to crafting the actuators. After designing thousands of them, 
Tesla eventually settled on a single design capable of functioning across multiple limbs of the robot's body. This decision aimed to uphold simplicity and minimize manufacturing costs for the Tesla bot. Up in the shoulder, there are three actuators in the shoulder. Oh. They are the... I'm surprised, again, that Boston Dynamics took so long to get this done and to have a product out in the public. Because if Elon Musk is just getting into it now, and Boston Dynamics has been building robots since, like, forever, again, this is a huge surprise. But now I feel like since Elon Musk picked it up... ...that contributes to lower cost is the battery. Jeremy Johnson from Talker News has offered insights into the Tesla bot's battery. Although Tesla initially mentioned a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery in 2022, Johnson predicts it will likely be slightly higher, estimating around 5 kilowatt hours. This capacity would enable the Tesla bot to operate throughout an entire day before being plugged in for recharging overnight, a task easily accomplished with a 5 kilowatt hour charge. Now, I can't wait to order myself one of these robots, you know, because again, it's just spoken about, but it's not real until we see it. Since cartoon and imagination and movies been around, they always talked about robots walking around and doing things for us. But to actually see it, okay, that's another level. Currently, Apollo from Aptronic stands as one of the robots with the longest operating time, capable of working for 22 hours per day primarily designed for moving goods within a warehouse setting. Finally, Tesla will revolutionize their approach to training their humanoid robot. Before delving into that, let's take a look at how NVIDIA trains their humanoid robot, Groot. The Groot model utilizes multimodal instructions and past interactions as input to generate the next action for the robot to execute. NVIDIA has even developed Isaac Lab, a robot learning application to train Groot using Omniverse Isaac Sim. Additionally, NVIDIA employs Osmo, a new compute orchestration service, to coordinate workflows across DGX systems for training and OVX systems for simulation. These tools allow NVIDIA to train Groot in physically-based simulations and transfer learned behaviors seamlessly to the real world. The Groot model aims to enable robots to learn from human demonstrations allowing them to assist with everyday tasks and replicate human movement simply by observing us. And you know what? This is somewhat similar to what Tesla's currently doing, training humanoid robots by using humans' demonstration. However, this traditional method is perceived as slow and may not align with Tesla's ambition to lead the field. That's why many companies are turning to AI for training. With They gotta use AI because again, yeah, it is slow, and then giving the instructions to follow before like pressing the go button, it's not going to work out. The robot's got to take a look, you explain something to them, and they take care of it. With the understanding that more advanced AI could lead to greater success. A recent example is Figure One, a humanoid robot developed by Figure, a California-based tech startup initially focused on general-purpose humanoid robots. You see, they had to work in the battery. You notice the cord behind the robot. That's where you're getting its power. Within just one year of its inception, Figger raised a remarkable $675 million and attained a valuation of $2.6 billion. What sets Figger's robot apart is its ability to communicate like a human, occasionally stuttering and using filler words like um and ah, thanks to its integration with OpenAI. Moreover, OpenAI has developed a computer vision logic model that enables the robot to perceive and understand its surroundings, facilitating decision-making based on visual information and instructions. Theoretically, Tesla's bot, Optimus, could perform similar tasks to Figure One using neural network-based logic and object recognition. However, Optimus currently lacks speech capabilities, preventing it from verbally explaining its actions or decisions like Figure One. Nevertheless, so if Tesla already has this happening behind closed doors, I guess hopefully by 2025 or by next year, we should be able to see a robot similar to that one that speaks to us and everything. Let's see. Less, there is potential for Tesla's bot to incorporate speech functionality in the future should Elon Musk decide to pursue it. Tesla possesses its own secret AI weapon, Elon Musk's X.AI company which features a language model chatbot named Grok. While Grok may not have undergone as much development as ChatGPT, 
it benefits from real-time access to the entire X platform, providing a significant advantage, particularly in training conversational language skills. This concludes our comprehensive summary of the new Tesla bot features. While it boasts many impressive integrations, there are still areas for further development. Can Tesla outpace Figure and NVIDIA in terms of humanoid robot development? There's a great chance they can. And a little fact, there are 10 million unfilled jobs in the US that mean there is always demand for humanoid robots to join the workforce. I can't wait for the day that Optimus will appear everywhere in the Tesla factory and make the future car model. Well, there you have it. Advances in robotics makes it seem more and more like we will be seeing those robots walking around and with AI, they're going to be talking to us, taking in instructions and knowing what to do to help us out. But, you know, a lot of people are saying that they're first going to use these robots like applications like the military. So why not? You know, let's cut out loss of human lives and get these robots out there so like that we don't lose any humans. But what do you think? Do you think the future looking more and more robotic? I personally think that I'm happy that robots are going to be there to help us, to help us out, to help us grow and take care of jobs that we don't want to take care of. We'll do everything else. All right. But comment below. Let us know what you think. My name is Noel, Battling MS. Thank you so much. If you stuck around this long, go ahead and click on that like and subscribe button. Hopefully you found value in this video and helped you learn more things about robotics. All right. With that said, see you guys in the next video. Thank you for sticking around this long. Peace. Verbal or life. You know, the way it looks like in our lifetime, hopefully we'll see robotics. This is the year 2024. Ideally, by 2030, we should see robots walking around and helping us out. Um, similar to Terminator, I hope not. hope they don't go around killing people. <laughs>